Hello viewers, welcome to Bulls vs BS Trading Academy. In this video, we validate the support and resistance areas given on Nifty one day prior. And we will analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow, that is 16th October 2019. Let's say a disclaimer first. This video is for educational purpose only. No actual trading decisions are advised. This is not a tip, research call or an offer to buy or sell financial instruments. So this is the link for our telegram group and this is the link for our whatsapp group. You can join this using these links. If you have any query you can write in the comment section or in the whatsapp or telegram groups also. So the levels given on 14th October 2019 are 11345 to this is not double three this is 11 11345 to 11296. Um, One one three four five two one one two nine six one one three nine five two one one four two zero one one three nine five two one one four two zero One one four five two two one one four six seven one one four five two two one one four six seven. So these are the three areas given on fourteenth October two thousand nineteen video. Now we will see the entire moment of Nifty with respect to our support and demand areas. So this is our demand area. Today we open at our demand area see the opening was around this candle at the low of this candle opening as soon as we opened we took support from the demand zone and went up the next candle also went up the third candle came down touching nearly our demand area but it went up suddenly it went higher till our supply area here it started taking resistance one two three four four candles took uh, took resistance fifth candle came down again it started going up the moment it gave close inside the uh, supply area see this candle this candle gave close inside the supply area so this candle gave closing inside the supply area after it had given a closing inside the supply area, it started going up, it took support again. When it came down, it took support from the given, from the lower end of the supply area, I mean sub resistance area, it, from the lower end, it took support and went up. It went higher till the upper end of the resistance area. See here, this is the higher end of the resistance area, till the high end of the resistance area it went and it came back it it closed above but the closing was not so good again it came down when it came down the last area where it took support this down move was the lower end of this zone from the lower end of the zone it took support it went up again it came down took support from the lower end of the zone and went up again took support and when he, when it closed outside this zone again it went up and came down to take support from the upper end of the zone now it went up it couldn't rest uh, move any further and it came down see while coming down it once went up took resistance from this zone and came down finally this down move came and settled over the upper end upper end of this zone see exactly took support and settled over this so this was the entire moment so we will see what were the possible setups today after it had closed inside this you could have taken it long trade here stop loss could have been this one and target would have been the high of this candle
So this could have been the trade for today. Stop loss was around 13 points. Target was around 22 points. This was one of the trade. After it had given a closed outside with a stop loss of this candle. We could have taken another trade. See stop stop uh, stop loss for as uh, was around 25 points and the target was around 30 points you could have minimized the stop loss even if you wish 20 points stop loss or even 15 points would have been a good one so with around 15 to 20 points stop you could have gained a 30 points moment in nifty and you could have gone short over this candle when this resistance of the zone was taken you could have taken a short trade also over here Uh, stop loss could have been somewhere around 10 to 13 points so these were the three possible trades that could have been done today analysis for tomorrow So the support areas come set So the support zones are 1 1 3 9 3 2 1 1 Four two four one one three two one two one one three five zero one one four five three two one one four six seven one one five double zero two one one five seven zero so these are the two support zones and, a, and these are the one one five double zero so here it is one one four five three two one one six one one four six seven one one five double zero two one one five seven zero So these are the two support areas and that's, uh, these are the two resistance areas for nifty tomorrow. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you have any query regarding any stock you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.